Welcome all of you to Digital Communication Module. In the previous semester, you all have completed the module Communication System, which is the prerequisite for the Digital Communication Module. There, we dealt purely with Analog Communication. Analog means continuous transmission of data, whereas discrete means digital transmission of data. In analog communication, we are transmitting finite amount of data in infinite amount of information. So, there is a possibility of occurrence of noise, whereas digital, we are transmitting finite amount of data in finite amount of information. So, that out of these two, when we are comparing, digital communication will be more efficient. This is the general block diagram of digital communication system. As in general, any communication system when we are block diagram, we are saying it consists of three blocks, a transmitter, a channel and a receiver. So, like that, here also we have mainly three blocks, a transmitter, the information source, source encoding, channel encoding and modulator. These four constitute the transmitter, then the channel, the noise will be getting added up in the channel and then receiver, receiver consisting of demodulator, channel decoding, source decoding and information receiver. So, the information source, the source of information, it can be analog or digital in nature. For example, analog information are microphone activated by a speech or a TV camera scanning a scene, etc. are continuous amplitude signal or analog signal. Digital information sources are, for example, a teletype or a numerical output of computer which consisting of a sequence of discrete symbols or letters etc. But really speaking, in this real world, everything is continuous in nature. So when we are speaking about the real world, whatever information coming from the information source that are continuous in nature. But when we are dealing about the digital communication, the inf continuous information we need to convert to digital. So, the process of converting an analog or a continuous time information to discrete is called sampling. We will study in detail the sampling, sampling theorem etc. in this unit itself. So, sampling is the process of converting analog signal to discrete signal. Then, the discrete signal is coming to the source encoder. The source encoder converts this discrete symbols or information to binary sequence. That is, all the discrete symbols are encoded to binary form by source encoder. So, different types of source encoding techniques are there, source encoding and the opposite process is source decoding. But we are in this digital communication unit, we are not studying detailed source encoding or decoding technique, we are not studying. So, source encoding, it will encode the discrete symbols to binary sequence. So, the output of source encoder will be a set of binary bits of ones and zeros. Now, next is channel encoding. Channel encoding is done for minimizing the effect of channel noise so that the number of errors in the receiver data will be reduced to make the system more reliable. So, when the information is passing through the channel, there is a chance to be prone to different types of uh, um, noises, different types of errors can affect. So, this channel encoding will give a protection against that, that means 
the source encoded signal we will add some extra bits so tail bits to that by different encoding techniques so that is channel encoding techniques which we will be studying in detail the error control coding in unit 4 different channel encoding and channel decoding techniques so we will add a set of extra bits to uh, source encoded signal and then it is channel encoder and given to the modulator what is modulation modulation is the process of superimposing the modulating signal on a carrier signal already in analog communication or in communication system you have studied in detail modulation what is modulation what is the need for modulation and different types of analog modulation techniques like amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation so modulation means it is the process of superimposing the modulating signal on a carrier signal so normally our modulating signal or the message signal will be of low frequency it cannot be traveled over long distance through the channel so it will attenuate so we need to convert the low frequency signal to a high frequency signal so we are mixing the message signal with a carrier signal it will be done in such a way that any of the properties like amplitude frequency or phase of the carrier will change in accordance with the amplitude of message signal so after modulation so in digital communication we are studying different types of uh, digital modulation techniques which include ASK, FSK, PSK and also we are studying in the very unit one uh, analog pulse modulation and digital pulse mode different types of digital pulse modulations also after modulation we are passing the signal through channel here noise will be getting added then it will come to the receiver in the receiver whatever process we have done in transmitter all opposite process again need to be carried out we have done modulation so we need to do the demodulation channel encoding done so we need to channel decode that source encoding we have done so we need to source decode that and then finally comes out the final information human readable information to the receiver so this is the general block diagram of a digital communication system so it again consists of only three parts a transmitter channel and the receiver transmitter which consists of the information source encoding channel encoding and modulation then passing through the channel where noise will be getting added then the receiver it consisting of demodulator channel decoding source decoding and finally the information at the destination so this is the block diagram of a digital communication system.